Earlier mentioned Alvin Loving. I want to call Alvin again. It's my guy, Vice President, Data Manager in IT. Since I've been here five and a half years, first black man I've seen promoted to Vice President. So, congratulations. <laughs> I think tomorrow's Wendell's birthday, I'm not sure. And Wendell, you thought I was gonna let that slide. <laughs> you know, so I'm not gonna embarrass you now, make everybody's happy birthday, but we'll get you later on. So happy birthday on the low one. So um, first thing I want to do before we go into I want to thank the team. Right? So um, I'm gonna ask you nicely to stand or I will call you. It's your choice. Either way you're gonna stand up. So I'm gonna give it a second if people can stand up. So community outreach team, please stand up. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. There you go. There you go. So, on, so, this team has committed over 500 hours of community work this year, whether it be programs, either planning, attending, or driving. So, really, please, all the things we've done, these are people who made it happen. So, thank you. Thank you. We've had some great strategic partners also. Uh, Seal Pride, some I don't remember the Pride are here, uh, been with us. We've done some great work with them. Uh, Seals Cares, I don't know if Dean is here today or not, but Seals Cares also. Uh, I want to talk a bit about some of the things we did uh, during the year. So, with uh, Seal Pride and Seal Cares, we worked on at the AIDS Memorial Grove. Uh, we did a cleanup at the AIDS Memorial Grove this year. Last year, we planted a tree of people, uh, for a tree for people of color passing from AIDS. So great work there. Uh, Genesee Center, which is in Southern California. So uh, Cheryl and Jennifer uh, doing a great job driving that. Genesee Center, if you're not aware, does a lot of work with children uh, in need, domestic violence. On the Keith, isn't that too? I saw you over there, I forgot about you. Um, Daughters of Zion, Sacramento, Dana Bracey. I'm going to hear somewhere, you're a Cowboys fan, so I don't want to call you out, but I had to. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> but, uh, Daughters of Zion, uh, Sacramento. These are kids in the South Sac. You know, some people say a kid may never leave their city, but if you live in a bigger city, New York, Chicago, you might understand that. We talk about kids who may never leave Sacramento. So these kids have opportunity. Um, we help sponsor their going to a summer camp, STEM camp in Catalina Island. These are kids, again, some of them may never leave the city of Sacramento. So getting them out to the camps. Uh, American Heart Association. I don't think um, Melissa's here, but we partnered with Melissa. We did a healthy cooking fair. Uh, with, with uh, American Heart Association and Leah worked hard on that. We appreciate that. And uh, Roses of Concrete, man. I saw BJ back here in the back. Uh, it was a great school here in Oakland. And last year, BJ took me to the school, or this year, and the funniest thing happens. We go into the school, and they take me to a classroom. I walk in, I'm like, something's not clicking for me. I'm like, I can't understand them. And BJ's laughing because, like, it's an immersion program, so the kids are speaking different languages. And they dumb it down for me. They're like, oh, we'll speak English. He's here, okay. You know? but they speak English for me. So, uh, great program there. Uh, Oakland Panthers, the baseball team there in Oakland. These are kids, no uniforms, no equipment, still playing in this baseball league. Um, their self esteem picked up, played better, looked great out there. So, it was really a big plus for those, uh, those kids in that, in that uh, league there. The Toy Drive, thank you so much for your generosity with the toys today. Uh, those toys are going to go to Genesee Center, Southern Cal, Daughters of Zion, Sacramento, Rose of the Concrete here in Oakland. So, Last year, we dropped these toys off. We saw kids actually cry, BJ and I. Saw kids who were not getting Christmas presents. So we were really fortunate. We think like, oh, bad day is traffic. These are kids who were not getting a toy. And kids like shedding tears that day. You know, me and BJ were like, oh man, uh, all right, I'm good. But you know, it really, it really grabs you when you see these kids get these things, man. So, um, and then with the alphas, man, we did some things for their educational program. There they are over there, you know. So I'm sure Frisic and Q and Ferg like the black and gold today, I'm sure. It made you happy, right? Okay. Um, Mini Makers Fair, Science Fair uh, here in, in Sacramento, uh, San Francisco area, Bay Area. And then the Clean Water of Flint, Michigan. So I saw Michelle earlier, I don't know if Dwayne is here. Not Dwayne Wall, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, Clean Water of Flint, Michigan. So basically, how that came about was uh, Dwayne brought it up. We talked to the chief. We normally do only California items. And Mike was like, you know, say no more. There's something we need to do. We sent over 2,000 bottles of water to Flint, Michigan people to make a difference there. Um, and there's three others I want to call out. This is like family to me. So I want to bring up Greg Collins, SF Achievers, Valerie Allen from Black Girls Code. Come on for a second. So, Good 
morning, everyone. My name is Gregory Collins. I'm with San Francisco Achievers. San Francisco Achievers is a nonprofit that serves African American males in the city of San Francisco. And what we do is we provide mentors, scholarships, uh, summer internship, and employment opportunities. But overall, we provide some serious, intense case management. Um, if any of you know, working with this population, it takes intense case management to make sure that they are successful. And our goal is to sh uh, shorten the gap, the academic achievement gap gap, the success gap, which is why we offer the scholarships, the mentors, the summer internship and employment opportunities. Charles, did you want to tell me, want me to tell you yeah, about? Yeah, tell them about partnership. Yeah, so, so the partnership with Charles uh, and the Ben Network in general, something that I've gotten out of this. One, uh, I told you that we provide scholarships. So the first year we started this partnership, they offered one scholarship. The second year, they increased the two uh, scholarships, which is this year. Uh, then the next year, which I'm hoping they're going to increase it maybe to four scholarships. So then we have, um, so that's one piece. But not only that, in addition to the scholarships, every applicant that fills out an application, they have to go through an interview process. So in fact, we held our uh, vetting of the applications at the Blue Shield office in San Francisco this past year, and quite a few employees were here to assist us with going through those applications. Um, yeah, where is Leah? Where is she 